Episode 246. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh, tonight we're reviewing Wonder Woman 1984. Wonder Woman I, 84. Isn't it just 84? Oh, is it just 84? Maybe it's just 84. You know, I don't know. All that poster art just says WW84, which makes it seem like right. World War 84. But, um, you know. Sure. But first things well, first. Shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. You will need the entire box oh, of four bottles. Box? Oh, I thought this. you were like, don't drink box wine. I know this movie's no. bad, but don't resort to drinking no. boxed wine. No, no. The Wink comes in a box oh. of four bottles. Oh, boy. And you will need them all. Oh, boy. Second thing second. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month more gives you early access. $10 gives you access to our viewing parties. 100 lets you choose a movie for us to review as long as it's not Wonder Woman 84. Well, I mean, we're already, we're already we're doing, doing a review, it. so <laughs> unless you wanted a, we second, saved you $100. a second review. <laughs> I did not like this movie. I, I don't no. want to ever see it again, but I have lots of things to say about this movie. So, you know, yes. there's that. Yeah. Well, I, wait, I think it's been long enough that I can now... Ta-da! <laughs> Yeah, um, well, so I think first <laughs> I have to say I'm concerned about Rogue One. Oh, you mean the Flight Academy not, Rogue Pilot? No, what, it's not something. Rogue One we watched. Rogue One. What's the new Rogue one that One's she's a doing? movie that already exists. <laughs> Bravo Red Leader. I don't know, whatever the. Patty Jenkins is directing a series and or movie that. I think it's a movie. Has. Star Wars and flying. I forget what's X-Wing pilot elite. It's something generic. I don't know. It sounded like, yeah, sure. Zero Dark Thirty. I don't know what it is. I'm worried as well. I'll be honest. I mean, the first one was fine. You know. The eh. first Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. Like, I didn't yes. like, like it. I have no plans to ever watch it again. But it was like, sure. No. I don't know. I guess. This yeah. one was... I mean, honestly, I might, I might rather watch this one again because it was... There was some was. nonsense. Oh my god. But like for me, there were just such gross failures of filmmaking. Filmmaking, writing, plotting, um, storytelling. <laughs> how many story how telling. many more ways can I say it? Honestly, I was watching it like, have I because, okay, you, it's on HBO Max, so I got to watch it yeah. at home. And I, you know, yes. mostly was engaged with watching the film. Um, I put I put my I phone like, away. I was like, I'm going to pretend like I'm in the theater. Let's well, do and this. And I mostly I succeeded actually, in that fact. I mostly succeeded. Okay. But yes. there was mostly. times when I was like, did I just completely, like, <laughs> zone out and miss something very important? Because I feel like I've lost my mind and I don't know what's happening. And I was here... The whole time. Yeah. <laughs> now, to be fair, you do do that in the theater as well. You will just be like, oh, I, I was not paying attention. That's true. If a movie doesn't <laughs> engage me, I'm, you know. Right. I'm, You're out. Sometimes I get lost. to uh, Look at the exit sign, you know. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it is two and a half hours long. Well, too yeah, so long. It was too long. And I knew going in, I was like, okay, two hours and 36 minutes. You can't start this too late or you will fall asleep. Yes. And then... I went to turn it on, you know, I went to HBO Max and I was like, ooh, you know, Dolby Atmos, ooh, Dolby Vision. And I got all excited and nerded Wait, what's out. what's Dolby Vision? Dolby Vision is HDR, high dynamic range. Great. So this is important because oh, not only no. did I then take an hour to <gasps> finally get my TV to properly display oh, the Dolby Vision and the Dolby Atmos. You're my favorite kind of nerd. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I got it working. I had that Dolby Atmos, like, ooh, sh sh ooh, sound all around me. Ooh, I can hear her skateboarding behind me. <laughs> we'll talk about it. When it became a Ninja Turtles movie, we'll talk about it. We'll get into it. I don't know if it was because it was Dolby Vision. Ah. No, it looked terrible. It looked awful. It looked awful. <laughs> 
The CGI was hilarious. Hilar <laughs> I laughed so hard at certain things. So yeah. incredibly hard. And I was like, oh no. The colors seemed like overly saturated, but saturated. I thought that was because it was the 80s. That was well, my... right. Although I doubt that my TV was automatically set up for Dolby no, Atmos it was not. Vision. I'm sure that's not the case. Um, so I think it's just that the movie does not look good, which good. is so weird because it got pushed back. If I'm Patty Jenkins and I'm sitting on this movie and uh, the pandemic happens, I'm going, hey, maybe we uh, take another pass, cut out an hour yeah. and, oh God, you know, right. redo the coloring. And yep. I don't know if you can make this... Well this very, very simple plot makes sense, though. I don't know if you can... I don't think I could lasso it into... I don't think I could lasso it into... Lasso it? <laughs> no, but okay. Okay, well, first, I have I have so many things to say. However, yes. okay, going back, the colors. The colors, yes. Duke. The colors. The colors, Duke. The colors. I'm colorblind, kid. They spent money to have something certified Dolby Vision, whatever, right? So, like, that was intentional. It was intentional that it looked like it was the saturation turned all the way up to the max on that Instagram filter. I don't know. But then also, 1984 was the cleanest 1984 I've ever seen. It was just like... There was no cocaine whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> zero, zero cocaine. It felt like Disneyland. I mean, honestly, when they were having dinner somewhere in Washington, D.C. It felt like they were at the restaurant in Pirates of the Caribbean. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> well, I have a question. Okay. Where did the money go? Where did it go? Filming on location in Israel? Where were they? Egypt? When were they in they Israel? They went to Cairo. They went to Cairo. Oh, they went to Cairo, right. Right. When he was just like, yeah, I'll fly us to Cairo. I know how to do that. From any location? You didn't even have an old timey map also, to be like, ah, oh, right, Cairo. Right. Did you have enough gas? I have so many questions about the plan with the plane. I have so many questions. Here we go, engine. Here goes nothing. It gets into this fighter jet and is like, bloop, bloop. Oh, nope, that's not that it. That was. Bleep, bloop, bloop. Oh, uh, here we go. I, I have so many things to say about that scene, but we have to start at the beginning. Okay, yes. so it starts and it's. Fabulous Cunt Island Olympics. Yes. And I was like, yes! Yes yeah. to Robin Wright's upper thighs. Yes! <laughs> She's not in the movie. Nope. She's gone. She's gone. Fuck! I was so mad she didn't even have like a voiceover like, no. Diana, remember, well, don't take the did. easy road. No, she didn't. Did she? When yep. she was flying? Oh, boy. The, they had the voiceover some point where she was like, you can't be a hero based off oh, of lies. That's right. What yeah. lies? I didn't understand what this movie was telling me. There was a lot of platitudes and was. be careful what you wish for right. and um, monkey's paw and Midas's touch. And, I mean, this movie um, was wish upon with a bigger budget. Let's just be real. Girl, I wish this was wish upon. <laughs> Where was Ryan Felipe with his saxophone? saxophone. Oh my God. Your dad is like serious hot sauce. Like sriracha hot. Where was he? But I also literally wrote that down. I was like, this is just the plot of Wish Upon, oh. Oh, but yeah. less clear. Mm -hmm. Like the rules are less clear yep. than Wish Upon. Also, the rules were broken within the movie. We will talk a lot, about a, it. There was a lot of, yes. So the Olympics, Fabulous oh, Cut yeah. Island, the <laughs> CGI so was, the CGI the was off the charts, off the charts. <laughs> So um, the small child that was an adult that got onto the horse made me laugh. Made me laugh really hard. There was a full grown adult <laughs> that mounted the horse. But I read somewhere, now this seems wrong. I read somewhere that that little girl did all her own stunts. And I was like, that seems untrue. But I think that little girl slid down the slide. <laughs> it was like Goonies. Woo! <laughs> I didn't understand. Okay, so it's Fabulous Cut Island. They're doing the Olympics. Yeah. We have no explanation for why baby 10, 12 year old Diana is competing with adult Amazons. We've because no. Because she is a goddess. And the other ones aren't? Correct. They're, They're just, just normal. Super fabulous. Amazonians. Okay. Okay, that question is answered. Now, my next question is so mm -hmm. she falls off her horse because a mm -hmm. tree branch hits her. Right, because she was looking behind her instead of looking ahead. 
of course, because of all of the really subtle uh, messaging of the movie. And yep. she, the horse keeps running, and she then, you know, uh, finds a shortcut, but still competes within the. She's still doing it all. She finds she also a way. Literally, just caught up with her horse. Literally caught up to the horse. So I didn't understand. So Robin, she's about to win, and Robin Wright drags her off her horse and says, "That's you took the easy way out. You cheated. You didn't compete the whole time." And I was like, "I don't agree with this lesson, Robin Wright. I don't think I that's didn't true." Either. I or, was like, "I didn't also huh? agree with her accent work, but." Um, <laughs> and the little, I mean, I'm sorry to the child actor, but her accent work was also... But I would have won if you didn't... But you know. didn't. You cannot be the winner because you are not ready to win. Suspect. Yes. I was like, so <laughs> are all the people from Fabulous Cunt Island from quote-unquote Israel? Like, everyone's like trying to just do Gal Gadot's accent. Oh, you think accent? that's what it was? It seemed more yeah. like Eastern European to me. I think it was their attempt at making it make sense why Gal Gadot... Gadot has Gail Gadot. Gal Gadot has that accent. But I thought Either they explained way, that away by her ability to speak every language, and so therefore she has. She just really chooses accent. this accent. I don't know. I don't know. You can't take the easy way. This is a shortcut. Um, and I was like, oh, so at the end there'll be some dumb thing about not taking a shortcut or something. No, it never comes up again. No, never really it's gone. Did. So I was like, well, that that didn't really well, need guess to be in the movie, but sure. The lesson. Was I mean, that I loved it, but you couldn't when on a base you couldn't be a hero on the basis of lies the lie being that she caught didn't up to her stay horse. on her horse the whole time i don't i is don't that understand a requirement of this magical decathlon yeah. is that now is is that the rules if you if you fall off your horse you're disqualified is that a rule or do you so, have I... to do you have to shoot every one of those little checkpoint video game checkpoints you know every along the way <laughs> well maybe some other people miss those too oh. i don't know tomb raider e it was like it was a video game. Well, also, Would I play to, to be Fabulous honest, Cunt Island, the video game? A hundred percent. Yes, because you know why? Because we realized at some point that this movie was just like high budget Xena. Oh, yeah, fully. Oh, now if Lucy Lawless showed up oh, yes. as her mom or something. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. But it's not cheesy enough. They need to make no. it cheesier, and well, they, that was they, a, they can't somehow. It's I, weird. It's so weird, because also this movie, while being Wish Upon, was also Batman and Robin. <laughs> it was also just, they decided, I just, at the beginning-ish, I was like, oh, they just decided to make a Christopher Reeve Superman movie with Wonder yeah. Woman. Because it's like, sure. it's in the 80s. She's like saving kids from burglars, and everything's <laughs> like nice. And yep. she's perfect and nothing's wrong. And I was like, and it's a wish upon, be careful what you wish for a plot. Oh, it's the 80s. Oh, an oil baron is the, I was like, this is just a <laughs> Superman Christopher Reeve movie. Like what is going on? What has happened? Like, oh, well we said it in the 80s. We might as well recycle all the plots from the 80s. So, so yeah, it's 1984 and um, right. Gal Gadot is working at the Smithsonian. Um, right. In artifacts. Sure, uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Anthropology, she might say. I don't know. A Language. shark's tooth. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just going to take a quick scan with my scan camera. <laughs> and Kristen Wiig shows up as a gemologist. Now, here's a question. Why did this movie cast the only comedian in the role where they didn't have any comedic lines, but then ask the two non-comedians, one of whom is, in my opinion, not really an actress. Uh, oh, sorry. Gal Gadot. Aggressive, but true. To do improv comedy, what's happening? Ooh, yeah. Um, does, it, does everybody parachute? You're not even giving it a second. Good. Too much in a good way or a bad way? No, that's great. I feel like a pirate. Steve, that's... Who? The choices. Well, I have a lot of... Okay, okay. One, I think that... They thought Kristen Wiig was being funny when she was nerd ball mousy lady. Oh, you're such a good dancer. Do you like Latin dancing? I love it. I know really? that I, I'm a terrible dancer. No, I, can, I doubt that. that no, terrible. I've That's got a hip shape injury. In. From... I think they thought that was funny. Have a good day. I'll find you. When she was Uma Thurman about to get eaten into the ground by her plants. When she was M Michelle Pfeiffer about, you know, oh my God, yes. it's the cats, oh, you know. Oh, um, I have so many questions about character okay but
But yes, I think, because she was basically just playing the exact same character that she played in Ghostbusters, which was also unfunny, but in a comedy. So right. it was wild. She was like, my hair's big and I have glasses. I'm a nerd. <laughs> Okay. And then it was like, I took my glasses off and put on heels. I'm a I'm sex a pot. Yeah. Are we doing this? Like, these, I, I can't walk in heels. Ooh, look oh. at her heels. Oh. I don't know why I was going to wear heels. Scientists don't wear heels. Sometimes we do. Right. right. Have a nice day. But those are cool. I like those. The animal print. <laughs> oh, oh she God. can really walk in those heels. Oh, my God, those heels look great on you. These are known for a terrific fit. Yeah, I'm just not so great with heels. Just try them. The politics of this movie are very confusing to me. Yes. The like, what it's trying to say about women and female empowerment is very confusing to me. Yeah. There was so much talk of heels and that making you worthy of being a woman. Right? Yeah, I like it. You look amazing. Do you think it's too tight? I think it's just right. Wow. Yeah. There was so much um, judgment of Kristen Wiig's character for mm -hmm. beating up a rapist, or at least a almost rapist, a very gross man uh, who a, was a, a, implying... An assaulter. And at least an assaulter, a probable rapist. The movie was like, oh no, she shouldn't do that. That's not a woman's place, I guess. I was that scene was so bizarre. She was like kicking his ass, and I was like, I love this. Yeah, yeah. kill that motherfucker. No. And then it was like, <laughs> wham, wham, let's all judge her. And I was like, no, wait, what? No. I was literally like, wait, I'm confused. We're supposed to believe that she's a villain because she's beating up. A, her a attacker, salty her attacker, her attacker from earlier. I was so confused. But when Gal Gadot beats him up, oh, it's fine because yeah. she doesn't do it with rage because she's like very calm and cool right. about it. I was really confused. But then later, spoiler alert. By the way, spoiler alert. No one cares. Oh. When she was just like, "Sorry, Kristen Wiig. I guess I have to murder you." I was like, "Why is the movie telling me this is okay now?" What? <laughs> But then she also didn't murder her? But then she was just alive. We'll talk about it. I have Well, thoughts. here was my question. <laughs> I have I mean, questions about how the electricity... Thank you. ...de-cheated her. <laughs> but also, I have questions about how the electricity was supposedly going to hurt Kristen Wiig and not Gal Gadot. Even also, I had that we question had, as well. We had been told that she had the same powers as Gal Gadot. <laughs> I also have questions about why Gal Gadot was losing her powers. Unclear. I think she, they said something about it, but I was that like- That was the I, monkey's paw, was that it took away the thing most uh, dear to you that was her powers. What was the most dear to Kristen Wiig? Her mousy hair? Her, 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 like the things that, that Gal Gadot was like, oh, I oh. love how- uh, Oh, you know right. who but you are. But she didn't are, seem to or... like that about herself. She seemed no, to she hate didn't. herself. So I was confused about that. Sure. I also have a question about why cheetahs. Apex predators, she says. Okay. Animal print. <laughs> okay. And then she I literally didn't... turns into cats. She was just like, I'm wearing. Oh boy, we'll <laughs> talk about it. She was like, I'm wearing cheetah print. And I'm dressing like a streetwalker because that's what sexy is. I was really confused about what this me movie's message to women was. Like I was, was really, yeah. I know what makes me a woman: short skirts and high heels. I was like, well, what? okay, if that's if we're like looking at that at an interesting angle and why she feels that she needs to right. look that way to find no, herself it. sexy. But then by the end, she's empowered herself to realizing that like, but no, 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 that none of that happened. This felt more like a Nancy Myers script than like a Patty Jenkins one. Well, I mean, yeah. Although, actually, does it? Because I feel like if I remember correctly, and in all honesty, I've mostly just my mind has been wiped of most remembrances of Wonder Woman. But oh, I the feel first like one. the first one. I feel like I don't really remember it, it being feminist or or female. It wasn't at all. Um, it wasn't. Everybody thought it was. And right. there is a certain amount of just like visceral, oh my God, a woman is starring in an action movie. 
Right. That like yes. Yes, you know, a female like, superhero lead. Yeah. Did I did I get like emotional when they were in the Olympics at on Fabulous Cunt Island? Yes, because I was like, yes. yes, women doing things and achieving. But then <laughs> it was all nonsense. Um. So like on just that base level, yes. Yes. Okay, it's a movie with a woman in it and a woman directed it. <laughs> yay. But yeah. like on any sort of deeper level, absolutely not. 100% no. no. It is yeah. very strange, the politics. Because he's always the, the savior. Like, they, they always rely on Chris Pine to oh come in God. and save the day. And I'm like, well, well, what the fuck is this shit? If you forgot the first movie, it's the same movie. Um, he, except now, in this movie, he's a fish out of water. Right. Whoa. But then again, he just has to, like, you know, like uh, Christ, sacrifice himself so then right. she can save the world because love is bad? Is that the... I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. Yes. So we meet Kristen Wiig, gemologist. This is just a regular old citrine yeah. stone. Yeah. Loser rock. What does she call it? I think the technical term here is extremely lame. <laughs> uh, if you make a wish, it, it'll come true. <gasps> and they both, I guess, not out loud, but just sort of think of a wish and touch it at the same time. So she's at a gala event. This strange man keeps on saying, Diana, Diana, right. I don't know you, sir. Leave me alone. <laughs> I wish we had more time. <gasps> Which is kind of a generic thing to say. Absolutely. I was like, oh, well, you know. Especially, it's a generic thing to say that would not be triggering enough, one would think, if the person who had said it to you 50 years ago, died in a plane crash, and it has now been 50 years, or 40 years, whatever, you wouldn't be like, wait, are you the reincarnated person that I used to love? Okay, so this man, who, whose only connection to Chris Pine is he also wears like an aviator's jacket? I don't know. This strange man shows up. Now this is where I genuinely thought, did I miss something? So he shows up, and then she's like, wait, I don't remember Chris Pine's name in the movie. David. <laughs> no, he wasn't. It wasn't David. Ben. I don't know. I forget his name. Sam. Anyway, Sam? Yeah. No, no. Anyway. Oh my god, it's you. Um, and then and then it just it's just Chris Pine suddenly there. And <laughs> yep. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Like I should rewind it. Did I miss something? Did I miss something? It just turns no. into him. Wow. So okay, I had the same reaction. I was like, what? The, the, the camera circles them, and right. then all of a sudden, it's not the dude, it's Chris Pine. And she's like, oh my god, it's you. And I was like, huh? Is the <laughs> I was camera like... magic? Just because the camera made a magical turn doesn't mean that he's now Cinderella and like is brought to life. What's happening? <laughs> I was like, oh, so this is some like quantum leap nonsense where everyone else sees the other guy, but yes. she sees... Him? Is that Correct. what we're to believe? Yes. So then, okay. in his okay. apartment... Why would they ever go to his apartment? What if he had a girlfriend? What if he had a wife? Where is his consciousness? Where is it? Also, Gal Gadot is the villain because she sexually assaulted this person's body without his Thank consent. you! I have Thank you. a lot of questions about it. <laughs> and they are like, fucking it up. Just fuck it all weekend long. And I was like, where is this man's consciousness? Is it deep down and he's experiencing this through Chris Pratt? Is he in heaven? Is he in purgatory? Is he in limbo? Oh. What did, and what did he do to deserve this? We don't know. There's no... We have no idea. We're just... He's... The plot was everyone would want to have sex with Gal Gadot, so uh, it's fine. What if he's a homosexual? And he's like, oh no, I am not interested in this. Oh no, my poor body. I mean, honestly, how did this get through so many phases? So yeah. many people had to approve this. Right. Nobody brought it up. No one was hey, like, this isn't might that a be little a problem. Rapey? This is absolute rape. Our main hero character, you know what Robin Wright should have said? Hey, consent is real and you can't be a hero if you're raping people. Consent is real and you can't be a hero if you're raping people. That is the only truth and truth is all there is. That's the lesson she should have learned. She was just like, whatever. I'm happy to have you live with me forever. And that man is just, I don't know, somewhere else. So, okay, here's what happens. And, and not to excuse it, because it, it's <laughs> fully fucked. But, so here's what happens, is that we, we have the magical turn of the camera, and they're like, oh, Chris yeah. Pine is going to be in the movie now, not this dude. 
<laughs> then they go to the apartment and he's like, I don't know. I just showed up in this apartment and here I am. Isn't this crazy? And I figured yeah. out how to get places and find you and look up a phone book. I think, yes, it would have been very helpful for us to first meet this person before he's like, hey, Diana, it's me. Well, I would say just make it that Chris Pine came back. It's magic. Yep, exactly. Oh, cool. Yeah. He didn't have to possess a stranger's body. Cool. Oh, great. Yeah. Problem solved. Yeah, exactly. And then when she goes, you know, like, oh, I can't have you. It's wrong. Like, you know, it, we can't bend the laws of physics and, and time and whatever. You yeah. died. Then he'd be like, yeah, you're right. And then he just disappears into the ether. You know, yeah. he Avengers yeah. Endgames himself. But yeah, this was a huge one. Yeah. But anyway, so they're in the apartment. He's looking in the mirror and it's the other dude. And then she goes, right. all I can see is you. It was a Quantum Leap episode. It and was. she's Al. And so she's like, oh, well, I guess because she only sees Chris Pine, then now we only see Chris Pine? Yeah, they could have done so why? much more. I mean, it didn't matter because nobody was going to recognize. Well, it would have been fun, but also would have highlighted the consent issue more if... Everyone else is seeing the other guy and someone mm -hmm. from his life is like, hey, Tony. And he's like, oh, uh, hi, well, this is my hot girlfriend. What do you mean? Don't you have a wife? You know, it would have highlighted the issues. <laughs> There's just like a sad, like a, a mournful, like widow, just like, oh, Tony, what happened to Tony? She's like trying to get into his apartment. The mail's piling up. She's like, he just disappeared one day. <laughs> Poor Tony. It's so weird. It's Why did so they just weird. bring him back? It's so He's, stupid. Oh, poof. You've already introduced magic. The only reason they did it is because they needed to have her at the end be like, oh, I can move on with this guy because she already knows his dick. I don't know. I don't know. So she did end up with him. Well, they gave eyes at each other across right. the red square or something. It was like snowing and she had a scarf. I don't know. But it was like, oh, hey, I guess even though I never saw you as you. Right. You know how to please me in bed when we had... To, how's she going to explain that? Oh, I already know about what you like to do. Those moles. Oh, it curves a little to the left. Yeah, I know. Oh, you got that <laughs> strawberry mole on your thigh. I know about it already. How do you know? It's so upsetting. It's so upsetting. Wow. That was wild. Yes. So, yeah, most of my questions were about that. But there's also other things. We haven't even talked about the main villain. No. Um, wish Genie Man. Gold, oh no, gold, Black Gold Cooperative or whatever was his company. Ponzi Wish Man. Yeah, basically. I mean, the whole plot line of this is that he is, you know, trying to prove himself to his family that he can be successful. And in doing so, he had bought a bunch of oil fields to be an that were, oil man, but they he's were He's going to be an oil baron, but he's also running a Ponzi scheme, but also... <laughs> he knows about ancient gemstones? Now, how did he know about this? Oh, because yeah. they were doing the robbery in the Stranger Things Season 3 mall from the 80s. Right. What's that you say? We're almost going to be caught by the mall security. I guess I'll throw this child off this balcony because oh, that will help me. Scene. That'll help me not be put in jail even more. What are you doing? What's happening? <laughs> this is so weird. But I was really cracking up because they're showing the mall, and I was like, "Oh, it's like Stranger Things," but also it's like Clueless. And I was like, "Oh, bring me back up, bring me back up!" And then it literally happened, and I was like, "What is happening?" <laughs> that was weird. So Pedro Pascal is the bad guy. He's uh -huh. the Mandalorian, by the way. You wouldn't know oh. that because of the sure mask, and he is basically Donald Trump. Oh my god, like literally, movie, you know, it, like was it was so on the nose. It was fairly transparent. Um, he has this horrible hair, and they're like, oh, a TV con man, something. And I was just like, this is really too much. It's a cautionary tale about what, be careful what you wish for. So then oh. he somehow knows about this magical stone, right. and then does the thing that all smart kids do, and wishes to be able to give wishes. He wishes for a million wishes, basically. Yes. He and wishes this... to be the stone. Now, I thought right. he was going to literally just turn into an inanimate stone and be like, ha <laughs> ha, but no. He should have, like, slowly turned into more rock or something. Ooh, I didn't that understand good. what was going on with Yeah, his health was deteriorating with yeah. each wish that was granted. Because it was... But then it never... So, yeah, this movie is Aladdin. Yes. <laughs> Wish it's upon... The... It's the uh, the delightful Patrick Swayze movie, Three Wishes. Oh my 
that no one has heard of. I mean, this yeah. felt like he was in Wolf of Wall Street or something. He was in a different movie. Yep. He was in The Big Short, and everyone else yep. was in a Christopher Reeve Superman movie. Yeah, there's way too many things going on, but Kristen Wiig is um, <clears throat> becoming Xena and is... She's, she's becoming... She's becoming a... We'll, we'll talk about it. She's becoming a cat, uh, and that's bad because I didn't understand why the movie was judging her for being awesome. I, and I really wanted them to just let her be awesome and just be like real cat woman it up and just be like campy, yes. like do it, go for it. Yeah. But they was so, it was so restrained. It was so just. It really was. And then it, it got like her physical appearance kept getting more and more over the top. She looks like Jennifer Hudson in Cats and I'm scared. But not for the right reasons. <laughs> well, 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 we will get to that scene. I have a lot of thoughts about that. So she is simultaneously becoming the villain, question mark, slash kind of helping Gal Gadot uh, right. back and forth. Pedro Pascal is going to Egypt and making deals with sheiks, and it's all very uh, 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that. And, it's and all very questionable, 80s. like geopolitical uh, it's, um, politics, or, you know, it's just like, oh, like they cut away to him, like granting all these wishes, and it's like, oh, and then generic Middle Eastern guy asking for nuclear weapons, and you're like, really? Oh. Have, have to do this. Mm, yikes. Okay, so Chris Pine and Gal Gadot are on a it's the 80s fish out of water tale. And uh, I will say, though, I did love her vest, belted, oversized jacket. There was like a section of 80s fashion which sort of like crossed with 1930s archeologists. Uh -huh. And um, I was into that outfit. Okay, great. Um, not with the heels. I wasn't really like a dress pant, that blousy dress pant with like a tan heel. But apparently that makes her worthy of a woman. And so I guess I shouldn't be complaining about it. So she takes him to the Smithsonian to see right. how flight has progressed because that is the only thing we know about his character is that he likes to fly and he's just like fine with being in the 80s he's just like yeah, totally he fine. like really is like oh cool i got it yep okay yeah i get it I'm, yep. oh a car nailing it yep i mean i guess oh i need cars to and... i need to drive well not like high not speed. Like, he's like yeah. oh do i need to high speed drive this car in a car Nailing it. Don't worry about right. it. Right. Oh, I need to yeah. fly a plane that I've never flown before that's much more advanced than anything I've ever... I got it. Nailing a it. Don't worry about it. A jet. <laughs> yeah, so... They then decide on a whim that they are going to steal... Now, was this like an artifact from the Smithsonian? Or it was just no, a plane that was like... available? Well, they just she, were okay, on a... she had a little pass that let her in somewhere. Now, are but we But did they keep believe... jets at the Smithsonian? Because that's what happened, right? right? They were there... And then they there were was there. like a series of of, of like <laughs> different types of planes, right? There's like the propeller plane and whatever. Yeah, prop and plane. Then like, this plane. I'll take the jet, thank you. So they just keep those gassed yeah, keep up. Keep it gassed up, fully gassed. There were no like um, the... little oxygen masks. None. You know? None of them. I mean, she would be fine because she's Wonder Woman, but yeah, uh, I had a lot of. Okay, so then they're just like, let's steal this plane, and I was like, oh, okay. And then out of nowhere, she's like, oh well. They're going to find us on the radar, but luckily I've been working on this invisibility cloak. I've only done it once, but we'll see if I can do it. I have a lot of questions. Okay, first, well, because like, okay, they're they're taking off in the plane. And I was like, why don't they just take her invisible plane? This seems stupid. Then my question was answered because she invented the invisible plane. But then they're like, oh, they're going to catch us on radar, which works off of sounds and sonar. So... I don't think an invisible plane would be invisible to radar. It's just a, it right? It could be stealth. Maybe there's a no. force field of... It was of, just, ah, sure. But it was just like... magic. Oh, now we're off the radar. And now we're going to fly an invisible, highly combustible aircraft into fireworks. Just fly right through them. Right where through. nobody can see us. That's got to be tricky with like not running into other planes. He's just the best pilot we've ever seen. Oh, you need to fly direct to Cairo? Got it. Figured out. Oh, computers? No Don't know what those are, but I got this. <laughs> got it. I know. We got to go east. 
nailing it. Yeah. What? You can't just be like, and here we go. Okay, I made it. Here we are. Where did they land? How did right. they land? Like, I can't even call it a plan. It did no. not have this and this and this. No. <laughs> no plan. It did not. That is not really a plan, Felix. A plan is supposed to have more than one part. It's supposed to go like, first we do this, and then we do this, and then we do this. But also, I think what's frustrating for me about all of this is that what would have made more sense, Wonder Woman should be saving the day. She should not be relying on the reincarnated body of her dead pilot boyfriend, who has who? been put into a different man's body. His body, who did not give his consent, not to only his... to be fucked by her, but to go to Cairo, etc. cetera. Right. I also have a question. Did yeah. she think ahead and pack her costume? It was very like, and let's go to Cairo. And I'm still yeah. in the same outfit. She so then I started to think about it. I was like, is she a never nude? I got this. What? Diana! That she just is, it's always there. It's always under. It's under. And I was oh. like, wait, obsessed with this though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it's the that. only it's the only explanation because Absolutely. she's just like oh and here's my costume yep oh I'm unless it's like <laughs> physically part of her yeah it's, like, not right. she, it's like, not like it's not like armor that she grows from her own i was like what is going on with this she's like a yeah. crown pocket and like the wedges <laughs> that she insists on fighting action scenes in even though it makes no sense and really doesn't yep. matter and just oh, that was that really drove me crazy why does the, she have to be in wedges why she shouldn't Put her in combat boots. Put her in... She can still be in kind of sandily looking things, but why do they have to sure. be wedges? Did you fit well? Oh. Drove Wait, here's my question. Yeah. Wouldn't it have been, one, more fun, make her a better character, and three, made more sense, if she was like, oh, I'm a demigod, or goddess, or whatever <laughs> the fuck she is, let me pull out this flight manual, I can read every language, whatever the fuck. Read through it all. Okay, I know how to fly this plane. Let's get us to fucking Cairo. No, he had to teach her how to fly with his love. The one thing that's always been new to me. What? Flight. Your gift. I'll never understand it. So much. That speech when he was just like, flying's like, when he gives oh. him like, flying's just like love. You have to treat it right. And I was like, what are we doing? What's happening? What's going on? It's all about and wind then, and... Lift and sky the and what? Draw and the draft. And I was like, <laughs> no. And then later, she's like, oh, because of that very sensual speech he gave me about flying, I now know how to fly with just my body, which would have very little to do with how to fly a plane. It's only wind and air. And how to ride it. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's about learning she's the just wind. Like, I Under. got this. That, oh my God, when she was flying around in that, oh, oh that terrible so CGI. It was, it was so dumb. That was, was when I said, fuck you, movie. His <laughs> love and his stupid speech about daft and daft and yaw <laughs> taught her how to fly. Go fuck yourself, movie. No, <laughs> no. 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 It's like she's simultaneously perfect and has nothing to learn. Like right. her character is boring because she's just right. perfect. Yeah. Um, but also everyone, like he has to do everything for her kind of. It's very strange. It's, it's very, very strange. strange. I hate it. I really hate, that was my big complaint about the first one. I do remember that was him and her and their relationship. And it's like, no, she should be coming in to save the day. He's the yeah. World War whatever pilot who got crashed and landed on her thing. Sure. And she is like, I'm going to save you, human, and saves the day and, you know, uses her skill and knowledge and whatever. Yeah. And instead it was like, oh, but she's a fish out of water. She doesn't know how things work and he has to protect her. And it's like, no, she's a fucking goddess. What are we talking about? <laughs> Why does Wonder Woman's plot always have to have to do with, like, her love life? You know right. what I mean? It's like, I don't give a fuck. She can just, can't she just have a fuck boy? Like, yeah. um, Batman will have a girlfriend and be like, yeah, we fuck, right. but like, we're not exclusive, yeah. whatever. You're right. I don't want to um, get married. I don't want to be interested in that. I just. It's cool. It just seems so weird that it's like, oh, we had to make it a love story because she's a woman. But, okay, I have another. I have, okay, we have to talk. We have to talk about this chase scene because <laughs> I laughed 
so hard. Okay, so basically it's the end of speed. She's like on a little skateboard. Like it's just a piece of metal or so. it's like a door right. or something. But yeah. like she's surfing yes. um, in she's wedges. Like holding underneath a tank. It's, it's and... very back to the future, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's very <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. She's just like, oh, I'm on the back of a trash can. It's wild. And then she's under the thing, like Keanu Reeves, like, oh, I'm under the tank or the truck or whatever. And it's silly. And then, oh my God, when she lassoed, I'm saying it like that from now on, that's just how you say it. When, <laughs> she, now. when she lassoed that fucking rocket and then Tarzan oh swung in to save those kids, I laughed so hard. It's like, <laughs> it looked so dumb too. It like looked bad, but also in concept, it was dumb. It made me yep. laugh so hard. It there was, was a so lot of stupid. Tarzaning in and yes. aerial silks at the end when they were, I was, oh my God. Like, yeah. what's this now? Is this I guess a pink cause... concert? Like, what's happening? Yeah. Um... <laughs> I will say this. This was not as bad as Captain Marvel. I will say that. Captain well, Marvel this was, was less boring, I think. Captain Marvel was more boring and more lazy. This yeah. was confused and bad, but not but lazy. But they were trying really hard. I feel like they did. That's the problem, though. This was unintentional camp but like not fun in the sense that like well, they were all a, a few mean, parts sometimes. were fun there was like a, a, a few parts but like they didn't at least joel schumacher and batman and robin is like huh. oh we're leaning into the camp this is absurd right this was cartoonish but not intentionally and yeah. and yet it was and wasn't it was confusing but i really wanted them to times, lean in more uh, multiple times i was like is this a parody of a right. 80s superman Right. Marvel movie? Like, I don't... What is this? I did... The tone was like, what is this? I don't know yeah. what this is. But yeah. then they have those long... They remind me of Transformers movies where it'd just be like, action, 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 action. And then they're in like a generic warehouse and they have like an exposition dump where it's yeah. like, oh, here's a bunch of bullshit. And you're like, oh, and I spaced out. And that guy had that horrible dreadlock wig that I think might be considered a hate crime. It was bad. It was very bad. <laughs> Who? They go to that guy and they're talking about monkey's paws and they're figuring out there was like so, and Kristen Wiig is there because they're in an alley they go to that guy's like warehouse and he tells them about the plot of the movie and it was like what oh I, um, I must have zoned out I, think I don't remember that asleep. at all the God of the God of lies Dolus Mendacius Duke of Deception the monkey's paw beware what you wish for that's when sure. she's like hey Kristen Wiig, I need you to go find out everything about where this stone came from. And Kristen Wiig's oh. like, I'm on it. Hey, look, I found a photocopy of this rock from, and I was like, what is happening? It's from Mesopotamia. I was like, what? You just found what? a, you just like searched for like generic rocks. Rock. What was happening? Her research was very fun. Yeah, <laughs> I was mean, like, okay. I wrote down, was that supposed to be President Reagan? Oh, I know, right? Was that, it was weird. I mean, yes. But it in no way looked like him or sounded like him. And they exactly. made no attempt. And they, like, specifically didn't mention his name. Right. So then, wow. Okay, so then it really starts to... Things happen quickly. Here's what I really was confused about. So... Okay. Mandalorian guy is going around. He's in Cairo. He's like, hey, Sheik, you seemingly own all of the Middle East. It was very odd. It was, it was weird. Hey, you know how you own the Middle East. What would you like to wish for? I wish that my land would be returned to the people. Wait, I thought you owned it all. Wait, what's happening? What's going on? Right. So he bamboozles him. He's like, okay, your wish is granted. But in return, I'll take all your oil. And then he's like, ha ha, I don't have any oil. And he's like, fine, then I'll take your security guards. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't but know. But so then, and then you know, like, there was this thing that kind of set up, oh, everywhere he goes, he like, you know, takes a little wish here and a little wish there from people. Yeah. You know, yeah. oh, what, don't you wish that I had this? Oh, yeah, I do, sure. And then it was like, okay, that's weird. But you would think that would make him stronger or something. I guess he was always getting something out of it. But it was weakening him. It was confusing. It was confusing. And then there was like the renouncing of the wishes, which was also confusing. Well, that's how you could get your power back or whatever. But yeah, right. okay. So I agree with you. I think he should have been slowly turning into stone. You know, that like, would have been ooh, cool. Every wish he grants, it's like, wait, why is my pinky now citrine? But yeah. yes. Oh, hmm. ah, oh, yes. Although we can agree that men who wear pinky rings are villains in, in film. 
just traditionally in film. Just and every cliche that they could put in this movie, like when Kristen Wiig is like sexy now, of course she's like sitting on the desk, like only sexy yeah. people sit on desks. <laughs> fawn over me, fawn over me. I was like, yeah. oh, okay. She might as well have like had her hair in a bun and like, oh, yeah, right. it feels so <laughs> much better. But so, okay, pretty quickly after he grants the sheik his wish, yes, the w entire world goes to chaos. There were like yeah. riots in the middle of Washington DC and like- That's what I, like things happen quickly. It was like, we're in Cairo, she just lassoed a rocket and Tarzan in to, to save some children. He drove off, then they're back. Like, I, I guess they parked the invisible jet somewhere. They're back, they right. have enough gas. They refueled it in Cairo, I guess, I don't know. And they're just back in DC. And then uh, the world is turned upside down. Now, was the whole climax in DC? Because it felt very Justice League where it was like, now we're in this other dimension where the background is sort of fuzzy and we're in a place. Yeah, it was very like, like post-apocalyptic. Because Pedro Pascal and Kristen Wiig are like on a private jet at some point, and she then wishes to be a cheetah. Right, but I thought but you she only already... got one wish. I've never been one for rules. I want to be number one. An apex predator. I guess The Rock and then him are different. Maybe. So but that doesn't, like, he wished to be right, the rock. Right, because she had so wished on the sense. actual rock. But it shouldn't make sense. It shouldn't have worked, but no. it, it did somehow. I've never been one for rules. But I like that she thought, you know what? Make me a cheetah. Yeah. I want to be an apex predator. <laughs> what? They basically, it's Doctor Strange Love. He's convinced everyone to fire weapons at everyone else. Right. Even though I don't know what he would gain from that necessarily. I think chaos, it was just out of control at this point. Chris Pine and Gal Gadot have uh, said, you must, you have to give me up and renounce your love for me or whatever. And that really weird ADR when she's like, okay, they kiss. Um, again, it's not his body. And she walks away and that ADR of him just being like, I'll always love you, Diana, no matter where I am. I'll always love you, no matter where I am. And I was like, oh, yeah. where are you going? Is that where that man was? He did say, make a whole speech about how he liked where he was and it seemed like heaven or something at some point. Yeah, he did. Oh, I was peaceful and it was great and everything was wonderful. I was in heaven and thanks, bye. I don't know, it was weird. So then, the whole thing triple was weird. fucked. If the guy whose body he took over got to go to heaven mm -hmm. and now he has to go back to earth, that fucking sucks. Well, I mean, we, we can assume that if his body was used and raped in the service of saving humanity, that he should then continue to go to heaven after his death. Right? He's earned it. He can go back when he's yeah. He has a placeholder. He's got his exactly. name card yeah. right there. Yeah. But the ADR was just very strange on that for me because this whole thing felt real cheap. It was just like yeah. random people in the street and there was like trash suddenly. Yeah. And that old couple that got like multiple lines. My cows. <laughs> I told a man I wanted a farm. I didn't mean here. It was very also, strange. Why was there like a farm in the middle of this thing in DC? That Look, was he the just... last forty-five minutes. I didn't know where we were in a time, place, universe. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. And why was Mandalorian guy? Sorry, I don't know his name. Why was he? as the villain in this movie, randomly in the apartment building that Chris Pine, man that he took over the body of, lived in? That oh, doesn't was make he? any sense. That was wow. where they were, where the old people were like, he asked if I wanted a farm. I didn't <laughs> mean right here. What? <laughs> Maybe that's why he took over that person's body, just because it was near the stone? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't None of this so. made sense. Then the kid is like randomly on his own in the middle of a deserted freeway. It was like a zombie movie. And I was like, <laughs> yes. what is this now? And he's like, Papa, I just want to <laughs> be with you. That's my only wish. Oh, right. Because he, the kid, wishes for his dad to be happy or nice or, or success, something. greatness. I want, he was like, my greatness is your greatness, like, son. I think he said, I want you to be happy or nice. It was something banal. And I wish for your goodness. <laughs> no. But then he wasn't. Like, it didn't do anything. Okay, so we're at the big climax. They're in some sort of universe. 
transported. I'm not sure where they were. There's like a live stream happening to yes. the world. The world. Mark. And Kristen Wiig and her are fighting. Kristen Wiig's CGI looks awful. But yep. also, it was the same color as whatever weird, awful universe they were in. So it yep. just looked all beige and gross and like didn't pop at all and looked really bad. Because then Gal Gadot shows up with those wings. Oh, boy. She talked about that lady who sacrificed herself and there was but oh i never found her but i found the armor and there was a whole thing we'll get to it there's a post credit scene did you watch it yes okay um so she shows up with wings okay this was confusing she needs an invisible plane she can also just fly just like sure. by herself but then also shows up with golden wings later there was a lot going on she yeah. needs multiple modes of transportation apparently they're fighting um they're doing tarzaning they're aerial silking She's a cheetah. It looks terrible. Yep. And then Gal Gadot's like, you have to renounce your wish. And she's like, fuck that. I'm a fucking cheetah, which I can respect. And then she's like, then I'm really sorry. And murders her for all extensive purposes. And I was yep. like, okay, so Kristen Wiig is not allowed to beat up her assaulter, but Wonder Woman is allowed to just fully murder this other woman. I'm so sorry. I'm so confused. I mean, to be fair, like at this point, she was basically saying like, no, I won't help you. I'm going to prevent you from trying to save the entire world. So she was like, well, I'm sorry. I have to do this then. It just felt weird and rushed and like not earned. And yep. it felt very like, well, it's okay when she does it because she apologized for it or something weird like that. Like yeah. it was very yeah. strange. It was also like unnecessary, right? Just have it be like, oh, and then because her cat likeness than she brought upon her own whatever it was who cares? whatever it was she gets flown across and hits her head and then she's knocked out for a minute and meanwhile gal gadot goes in and is like Pacha! lasso you mr guy and then you know whatever <laughs> i mean this whole like i mean it felt like um an x-men movie right where what's his face was like oh i'm gonna mind telepath everyone in the world and tell yeah. me your wish, you know I, I didn't understand that he just could talk to the world, and then she could <laughs> with the right via the, the lasso. lasso. I did think it was pretty rude that suddenly Gal Gadot had cat eye makeup on in this scene as like a personal oh. little dig to Kristen Ooh. Wiig. Yeah, <laughs> you're not the only one that can have cat eyes, <laughs> and I can walk in heels. Oh my ah! god! Could you imagine what if what if at some point Kristen Wiig just had heels on both on all four? Like, that's the movie I want to watch, honestly. I was, there was so much talk of heels that I was genuinely surprised that no one was stabbed with a heel. Like, that it didn't come full circle yeah. and be like, <sighs> somehow. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, I wish that they had just made it that Kristen Wiig and her teamed up to then yeah. fight the bad guy. Because it makes so much more sense for Kristen Wiig's character to have that arc of like, yep. I thought I needed a wish too, right? I thought that, like, because Gal Gadot doesn't wish anything for herself personally. Like, she's perfect. She's Wonder Woman. She wishes that Chris Pine is in her life, but she doesn't feel like she needs to improve in any way, ever. Sure. So it would make so much more sense if Kristen Wiig was like, hey, I've been there. I thought I was worthless too. Like, I yep. understand what it means to be a failure and to do this and to do that, but we have to learn and blah, blah, blah. It would make so much more sense. But instead we get this whole speech from Gal Gadot about like, don't wish for stuff at all because it's bad. Yep. I was like, wait, so the point of this movie is like, just be content with your shitty life and don't like, strive to wish for things huh yeah that speech was very confusing you can only have the truth and the truth is enough the truth is beautiful it was very confusing and very just like um capitalistic i don't know it was just like you you know be happy with what you've been given and don't yeah. you know like your lot in don't life complain. is to serve the people above you it was weird it was just it was like, very like well too bad your life is shitty that's just how it is yeah don't ever wish for more because since i'm already perfect i don't have to like wish right. for anything so like right. i got this it wow was, but was... then like two minutes later mandalorian is talking to his son and he's like I just wish and I pray that one day I'll be able to make you proud enough that you'll be able to forgive me. 
my only wish is that you'll like forgive and love me. And I was like, I thought we were supposed to be wishing movie. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, don't worry, daddy. I love you no matter what. You're my dad. And I was like, well, maybe you shouldn't because he's clearly crazy. I was like, where is your mother? Call child services. Like you're wandering the zombie apocalypse. I don't know. Right? I'm worried. Yeah. I'm worried. Yeah. These movies always try and make it like there's always like, it like stokes that like competition between women thing. She's just, you know, perfect goddess. And right. so then the movie feels like every other woman has to like bow to her and strive to be her. And no, she's a goddess. Like right. no one else can be like her. And you shouldn't try to, you should be yourself and all of these things. So it really would have made more sense if Kristen Wiig had had the arc. I really, really. think that's how it should have been. Yeah. And I think in all honesty, I think she was probably the only one on this screen that had the chops to do it. I agree. I think it should have been Kristen Wiig is like, ooh, oh my god, I turned into a cat. I have all these powers. Ooh. And then Gal Gadot's like, no, girl, you're flirting with the danger side, whatever. And yeah. that was not You're flirting English, with the but... danger side. <laughs> Take don't don't get close, too close side. to that. that yeah, don't get close, close to that to flame. Yeah. Ooh, um, Icarus. Exactly. And she's like, no, I don't want to give it up. And then she like goes dark for like a second, right? And she's like, she sees the, the power that she has. And she's like, ooh, Gal Gadot's right. I got to use this shit for good. Right? I'm going to talk him off the ledge and get him to renounce that wish. And, and then save all the, the stuff day. that, because Gal Gadot gives her that whole weird speech about like, you were so funny and nice right. and whatever. So I was like, I guess that's the point. And so then I was like, oh, she should have used all of that stuff and her knowledge of gemology or like, Something, oh, she knows how to break that stone because she's a gemologist. Something. Nope, we're going to electrocute her and then like show a weird scene that she's not dead. Right. And she's just herself again. Yeah. Then we get to the post credit scene. Well, first and foremost, Linda Carter God looks does. exactly the same. Holy shit. I was like, get it, Linda Carter. Also, maybe yeah. you star in these movies. I mean, you look the damn same. I'm here for it. Yeah. Love it. Also... <laughs> She is fully on Fabulous Cunt Island, by the way. Oh, I mean, it, As if it needed to be said, but like, yes. Asteri. Because yeah. she's the woman who's that armor was supposed to have been. Right. Sacrificed Angeline herself to or Angelique or... It definitely started with an A. Yeah. But I was like, yes, Linda Carter! But... Yeah. For what? I don't know. Why? <sighs> These movies are not good. They're and they're not too good. long. They're too long! <laughs> This movie definitely needed to be cut by 40 minutes. At least! Absolutely. Good lord! They could have they could have conflated so many plot points into singular scenes rather than like, here's a scene where we describe this, here's a scene where they like we could there have was, expedited. There were so many scenes with Mandalorian and his kid right. and him falling okay. apart, and I was like, I don't care about this. Nope. I guess we were supposed to, by the end, he was supposed to be redeemed, but really it felt like Kristen Wiig should have been the one that was redeemed. Yes. Like it was just told backwards and there were so many characters and we had to deal with Chris Pine and I was distracted the whole time Ugh. because of the consent Great. issue. And, um, <laughs> you know, not good. Not good. And it's not just, good. it's a bummer for me because I feel like if it had been more Batman and Robin-y and just really <laughs> leaned into it, I think I would have had a great time. But Where were the one-liners? Where was the wackiness? Chill. <laughs> I do like this working theory that she is a never nude, and I would really like them yes. to address it in the next film. Because <laughs> I think they need to really reevaluate what's happening. Because I don't know if I've seen a single DC movie in the past decade Ever. that's Ever. been good. Oh, I mean, I guess like I'm probably forgetting something, but like since the Christopher Nolan Batmans, I can't think of one that was not like, <laughs> what is this? At least Justice League had the decency to be short. <laughs> and stupid. I mean, like that was an insane ride. Like, At least where, had that. where is Joss Whedon to punch up this script? Yeah, absolutely. Like, have at it. Let Petty Jenkins direct it. Fabulous. I'm glad they brought it back for the sequel, even though this was bad. Like, yes. Yep. Give more women directors jobs. Absolutely. But like, have Joss Whedon come in and punch up that script. And also maybe give other women directors also, a chance. Also, you know, give other I women directors a chance. I think someone could do a better job. I mean, Avril, the filmmaking on this. It was. Uh, there were so many was. shots where wow. it was just. Wow. Wild. I was thoroughly confused. Like, the movie is literally two and a half hours. Be careful what you wish for. That's the plot. It's yep. not more complicated than that. But I was so confused so many times. 
because I thought I had missed something, and yeah. I don't think I did. I think the movie forgot to tell me. It, it, it was very bad at telling you what you needed to know. But also, even just from like a basic filmmaking perspective, it was like everyone was framed in the middle of the shot. It was just like, Gal Gadot, straight on, here you go. She's talking to Kristen Wiig. Now, Kristen Wiig, in the middle of the shot, like the frame. I'm like, what is happening? Can't you frame this properly? Like, what's it's going the, on? It's the Dolby, the, Dolby the, the Dolby Vision. It's the Dolby Vision. So, yeah, I would say uh, it's not a recommend. No, no. plans to ever rewatch. I do mm -mm. still like Chris Pine. I don't know why. I just really like that guy. Um, I don't mind and... him. I'm just, I don't like this role for him. I just feel like he, of the Chris's, mm -hmm. he always gets sh shat on. Or, well, oh, and then Chris now Pine. it's Chris Pratt. Well, yeah. But, you know, mostly I feel like everyone's like, oh, and Chris Pine. But I really like that guy. He's he's up at the top of my list. Okay, great. Like, I liked him um, in, uh, in Star Trek, you know. Yeah, Star Trek, Hell or, uh, Hell or High Water. Like, yeah. he's fun. These movies are bad and yep. confusing. And the politics are confusing. And yes. heels. You know, like, as a woman, I'm watching it, and I'm just going, wait, what are you telling me? I don't think this is a good thing. Yeah, it's like if you took the politics of the intern and applied it to Wonder Woman, and you're like, In Why? the 80s. In the, it's like they were like, oh, well, it's the 80s, so we have to make it, like, you know, right. backwards. Yeah, it's, it's baby boom. Like, what? <laughs> I still, I genuinely don't understand this. Okay, Diana grew up with all fabulous fucking women who are on their shit, know how to do everything, don't need men, are like bad bitches. Yeah. But she never has any female friends. She's nope. always competing or fighting with women. She's yep. always holding herself above women. Um, but the movie is not addressing that in any mindful way or, or like commenting on it. It's just nope. that she's this other and yeah. I would be like, no, she should be championing women and be like, yeah. yes. And they did a little bit of that with Kristen Wiig. Like, oh, we're friends, I guess. Sure. And, or something. Sure. But it oh, was, she took it the was... time to say hello. But Oh, we had yeah. lunch. This goddess came down to earth and had lunch right. with me. Oh, my God. You know, it was like that. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. You don't go out all the time? <gasps> but you can walk in heels and you're so sexy. You just seem like the kind of person who's like always out. Like people are asking you to go out all the time and you live out and you're just out. <laughs> like you never get in. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's a no, but um, cheers. Cause I had a lot of thoughts. Yes. I mean, there was a lot to dissect. And in fact, yeah. we got, we got 10 minutes at the beginning of Fabulous Kent Island. And I was grateful for that. Honestly, I would watch an entire movie where Maybe the guy who Chris Pratt took over for his body was on Fabulous Pine. Pint Island. And he was just, oh, uh, not, yeah, oops. After all that talk of how much I like Chris Pine. Maybe <laughs> that's where his body was. And or I would watch a whole movie where Chris Pine uh -huh. is straight chilling on Fabulous Pint Island with her. And he's just like, what's up? This is rad. Or let's spend it's a whole movie that. on, or whatever. But let's spend it more than 10 minutes of these way too long movies on Fabulous Cunt Island. Absolutely. I like honestly would like the majority, like where's her origin story of like, I want to see her growing up on Fabulous Cunt Island for real, not just like a five minute segment of like, right. when she competed in this weird decathlon. Oh, I and would then like she more. cheated by catching up to her horse and actually yeah. not cheating at all. And then, um, it I mean, she mattered. cheated by being a goddess competing with these humans, but sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> Sure. I was like, this seems really unfair and, and stacked against all of them. I don't know why we're bothering, but sure. Jason Momoa anyway, yeah. shows up, you know, it's great. Oh my God, yeah. It did I would feel very also love a Xena movie. I think oh. it's time. Oh, I don't know if we can bring back, if we can recapture the cheese that was oh, the mid 90s. I don't know. Maybe we need to start doing like Xena Warrior Princess retro episode reviews. Oh, here for reviews. it. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> To anyway. FCI and not this yes. movie. Yes! Cheers to Robin <laughs> Wright's upper thighs. Yes! <laughs>